This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have a very special treat for you. We're going to talk about the Norwalk Juicer, other press juicers, and also what's called the Gerson Therapy. So I guess first we'll talk about the Gerson Therapy. Uh, one of the reasons why people get into juicing is because maybe they've been diagnosed with cancer or something else. And, and the Gerson Therapy, what it is basically is you basically got to drink vegetable juices. And they recommend a specific juicer to use on the Gerson Therapy. And that juicer is right here the norwalk juicer this is an older model norwalk but they've been making these for like 75 years and the design has pretty much stayed the same although they have made some minor changes you know over the years but they all work the same basically it's a two-step juicer so why does gerson recommend the norwalk juicer you know i don't know but what i can say and everything in this video of course is my own opinion and you know if you do have a medical condition please consult your medical practitioner uh, that being said, everything in this video is for your educational purposes only. So uh, that being said, the Norwalk juicer was yours, used by Max Gerson, and he had great success when using this machine and healing the cancer patients that he worked on. And, you know, I've seen many different case studies and testimonials, and you could do an Internet search. They have a, a video about the Gerson therapy and all that kind of stuff, too. But I, I And I've also, you know, sold many juices to people that have, healed themselves of cancer you know through what I hear and their testimonials but in any case he got great results with the Norwalk juicer and then you know at the time I mean they've been doing this work for a long time basically at the time there's either like a Norwalk juicer or a centrifugally styled juicer such as like what's known as like the Omega 1000 or maybe even the centrifugal ejection style juicers but you know what they spin the juice up they run it at a faster RPM and he found that the results just weren't the same. He didn't get the same high level of success. Does that mean all the juice made out of the uh, fast running RPM juicers like the centrifugal juicers are bad? Absolutely not. You know, I've seen and heard of people that are actually getting better from cancer using those machines. So next, let's talk about why the Norwalk juicer is supposed to be so good. Well, number one, it's a two-stage juicer. So while it looks like one machine, which it is, it's actually a two-stage juicer. And actually the old Norwalks were actually two separate machines. They had this half of the machine, and this half of the machine is called the grinder. And this basically just takes the produce and just grinds it up in a mush. And then this part is the press. So the Norwalk juicer is a two-step juicer. Even though it looks like one machine, there's actually two steps to this juicer. And actually, the real old Norwalk juicers were actually in two different parts. They had the grading unit, and then they had a separate press. And those are the real old ones. Uh, nowadays, the machine comes in basically one unit, but once again, it's two steps. Whereas most other juicers sold are basically a one-step process it's one machine and one step this is a two-step process and how this works is you take the produce put it through the machine and basically what this machine does this is a grinder so it has this fast spinning blade this blades it's all stainless steel nice and heavy actually uh, this blade spins at approximately 3450 rpms or revolutions per minute and that means how fast this thing is spinning around so it's spinning rather fast the other thing to notice on this machine is if you don't use the pusher to push in the produce and keep, you know, something over it, this machine could actually spit produce up on your ceiling. That's a common complaint that, you know, many people that have a Norwalk that aren't paying attention or aren't doing it right do. So you can, you can always tell somebody uh, if they have a Norwalk, walk in their kitchen and look for stains on the ceiling. Ah, I see you got a Norwalk juicer. <laughs> Anyways, once the produce is all ground up, then you put it in a press cloth or a press bag and then you put it in the machine. Hit the button and then the, the uh, hydraulic press will actually come up and squeeze all the juice out. Now basically it has a thousand pounds of pressure. So you can see easily step one, grind it up, step two, press out the juice. So the first step once again is at 3,450 RPM. The second step basically there's really no RPM, it's just the juice being pressed out of the machine. So as you just saw the Norwalk is basically a two step machine. Number one, grind up the produce, 3,450 RPMs first step second step press out the juice it works really well and it is a, definitely a good machine and the problem with the norwalk is the price it costs two thousand five hundred dollars to get a norwalk juicer and you know they will last forever and they're good machines hands down they get a really sawdust dry pulp but once again i don't know about you but for me two thousand five hundred dollars is a lot of money and that's where something like this or one of these machines could actually come into play so let's talk about these ones next this one is actually called the wells press and uh, the Wells Press is basically the second half of the Norwalk juicer. Except instead of being, you know, uh, hydraulic, 
it operates with a basically a hand crank, uh, you know, jack, a hydraulic jack that you literally just jack up, and you jack it up, and this thing actually gives you 2,000 pounds of pressure, so it gives you more pressure than the uh, Norwalk. I mean, nonetheless, a thousand or two thousand pounds—that's still, you know, a lot of pressure to push all the juice out of the pulp. You know, so don't even think about, oh, this is twice as good. Well, no, it's not necessarily twice as good. These are about, you know, about the same efficiency. You know, it might get a little bit more or less with either one, depending on what you're pressing out. But for all practical purposes, this is pretty much going to work the same as the second half of the Norwalk. The problem with this is that this is the, once again the second half of the Norwalk. That's this side. You still need to do the first side of the Norwalk or step number one, which is grind up your produce. So for the longest time, you know, uh, the Gerson people would recommend if you couldn't get a Norwalk, then you got to get a two-step program. Do like a Wells press as step number two, but then you still need step one. You can't just put whole carrots in here and expect them to press out the juice. You're going to need a step one. And that's where we get into this guy right here. This is called the Champion Juicer. And the Champion Juicer, and it's not being set up and used as a juicer in this situation. It also has a, a grinding blade. And this blade spins at 1,725 RPM. So that's, you know, almost half as fast as the Norwalk has stainless steel blades on there. And then instead of setting this machine up for juicing, it's set up for juicing right now. Here's a, a basically a juicing screen that has holes in it. You would put what's called the blank plate. The blank plate would just basically force all the produce to come out of the front, and that would be the juice and the fiber just mushed up into a mush. And that's what they would suggest, you know, for the longest time is to use the Champion Juicer to uh, do step one. So basically with the Champion and the Wells Press, you're in at about a quarter of the cost. That's right. I said a quarter of the cost of the Norwalk juicer with basically the same results. I mean, you might get a little bit more or less with either setup, but also I'd like to think that this runs, the step one runs at a lower RPM, like half the RPMs of the Norwalk. So you may be getting a higher quality juice. So Gerson, in my opinion, they, they're kind of like, their mindset is, okay, this is what worked in the past. So we're just going to recommend that. We're not going to change what we're doing because we know what works. We're not going to change it, even if something better comes out. And I personally think that something better has come out for step number one if you're doing the two-step process. And that's something like this. This is the Samson uh, 9003 uh, juicer. And once again, this is a single auger style juicer. And let me go ahead and take this apart. And how this works is unlike these two machines, which actually has a cutting blade on it, this just has an auger. So this much works much like an old-fashioned meat grinder. You basically put the produce in, and at slow speed, and that's 80, once again, 80 RPMs, this auger turns and literally just crushes and squeezes and crushes up everything. And all the pulp will come out the front. Of course, you need to have this set up for homogenizing. Right here, we have the juicing screen. And once again, this is the, the, the um, screen with the holes, and they do have a blank plate. Once again, that's all solid. That will basically force all the produce to come out the front of the machine. And when the produce comes all out of the front of the machine, it's just homogenized, and then you just basically, it's the fiber and the pulp, you'll put that in your press bag and then press it out. And I actually do have another video showing me using the Samson uh, juicer and the Wells press. Actually, no, I extracted carrot juice with that. It actually worked really well. So that'd be the other two-step program. So what would be the difference between using this or this? Well, basically, the Wells doesn't care. You need to get the, you know, produce broken down into basically pulp and juice or fiber basically just break it down to a nice fine consistency and both these machines work really well if there's another machine that'll do it better that you have that's great you don't need to get one of these i mean they say maybe a vitamix or you know a high speed blender could do that but the problem with the vitamix and i do have another video on juicing versus blending the vitamix spins really fast and the gerson people found that you know that tends to oxidize the the nutrients more because the blender's spinning so fast so you know, they recommend, you know, at least the Champion, and I'd actually even go further and recommend the Samson to do step number one. So the other way you could do it is make, take like a shredder, and sh like you're shredding up carrots for your salad, you want to make fine shreds of the carrots, and that'll probably work for step number one, although, you know, the machines are absolutely the best way to go. They just automate things, they make things much, much, much easier. So that being said, I prefer like a single auger style machine with a blank plate to basically get step number one. Uh, that's what I'd recommend, although the champ, you know, once again would work. If you're concerned about something made in the USA, both the Wells Press and the Champion are made in the USA. Actually, the Norwalk's also made in the USA, but the Samson here 
it's not made in the USA it's made out of Korea but nonetheless it's still a really good machine the other thing I'd recommend you know if you are looking into buying a juicer and you think you need the Wells press you know I always wouldn't recommend the Wells press you know it's a lot of extra work and I remember my first press that I owned I bought it ended up selling it to my best friend actually and uh, he he still uses a lot but I just bought one and I just never really used it when I first got into juicing and uh, he, he does actually use it a lot because you know what's it's a pain in the butt and so I prefer a single step juicer and it's just a lot easier to use and to clean and you don't have to worry about the second step of course if I had some major health condition and I wanted to get the best quality juice then I would get a press and you know start pressing more Maybe if I had servants you know I'd get the normal walk and make let them you know deal with it and make me all the juice and just bring it to me that'd be nice but I still do everything myself so that being said the two-step process is always gonna get you pretty much a sawdust dry pulp it's gonna work really well and it's a lot more efficient than using like a one-step juicer so that's the that's the benefit the disadvantages the initial cost and also the other disadvantages is the time it's gonna take you to make your juice so next what we're gonna do besides the two-step process the next best juicer in my opinion besides using like two machines for the two-step process instead of the Norwalk there's a there's a juicer that came out that basically does what the Norwalk does in one step so uh, let's take a look at that one next so the other alternative you don't want to get the two-step machine and once again you know the Gerson therapy recommends only the two-step machine such as the Norwalk or using a press and a step one machine such as a champion or a Samson the other way you could do it is if you want to just do a single step process and use one machine to do it all you know in my opinion the green star elite gets closest to basically making the juice quality that the Norwalk does and it's a lot easier to use because basically you put the produce in it does everything it separates the juice and the fiber you have one machine no two steps it's a lot quicker to use and actually I've sold many green star machines to people that formerly own Norwalk juicers because they just don't like how cumbersome it is and how the produce will hit the ceiling and you know just the two steps so it's much easier to use you know the green star especially you know if you want to juice something like straight leafy greens the Norwalk will juice straight leafy greens but with the Norwalk it's best if you juice some carrots with the you know leafy greens the, whereas the uh, green star elite will actually do better job with straight leafy greens that being said I always recommend you mix your leafy greens with something like at least like uh, celery and cucumbers if not carrots something like that the green star elite is actually a three-stage machine believe that or not there's uh, a couple different stages let's go ahead and take this apart to show you what I mean this uh, assembles and disassembles very easy and only has a few parts to clean we're gonna take off the uh, front body housing here's the juicing screen and once again this machine does come what's called a blank plate and can be used for step number one of the you know of step number two if you want to buy the Wells press so here are the twin gears of the Green Star Elite juicer and there's basically three distinct stages this first stage here is crushed so when you put the produce in the machine and let me tell you pushing carrots in the machine does take some downward force and some pressure so if you're kind of older you know this might not be the best alternative for you and same thing when you're jacking up the press you know to juice I mean it's a manual physical labor the the Norwalk makes it a lot easier because you just literally hit the button and it does it for you I kind of like getting physical activity physical activity is also an integral part to you know being healthy anyways this is the uh, crushing stage here in this part of the gear then this section here it, you can't really probably see it on the camera but there's a distinct section of gears where this is the mixing or the rubbing stage where the produce is then mixed up and mixed together and that'd be like the middle stage between like basically crushing up all your produce and Gerson always recommended like apples and carrots and then you let it sit to like mixed together and then you actually press it out so that's what this one does it crushes then it mixes and rubs it together and then this last section of the green star elite squeezes out all the juice and the green star elite basically produces some of the highest yield of all the juicers that I've tested and it works really well that being said there are a few extra parts to clean but nonetheless you know if you want to get a single machine that's gonna approach the quality of the Norwalk the green star elite is definitely it so hopefully this answers some of your questions regarding what juice to use if you're on the Gerson therapy or if you just want to get healthier and the one thing I'd finally like to say is that you know I think it's really sad that people only find my videos and you know when it's too late because they already have cancer and I encourage everybody watching my video to get a juicer and start juicing because you want to be proactive in life and not reactive and start eating your fresh fruits and vegetables because there are studies and they have shown 
that eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables can reduce your risk of things like heart disease and cancers and other things. So once again, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.